Hey guys, it's me, Hugh, one half of your favorite podcasting duo, the Unscripted Real Artist. And welcome to my main channel. I haven't posted in a while, so this is going to be my first video in a while. So, if you came here for artsy content, cosplay content, you're in the right place. So today, as you can see, my hair is all done up. And if you are familiar, you would with uh, JJK, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, you might gather that my hair style lends itself to a character known as Choso in the anime and manga. So recently we got into, me and Ray both got into Jujutsu Kaisen. So, and also I wanted to know what the hype was all about. So yeah, we've gotten into season two. Uh, we will be posting a video on that on our channel over there on the unscripted artist Ro unscripted real artist channel um so the link for that will be somewhere either in the description in the i card somewhere so and i really like the aesthetic of the character of choso so um i'm gonna be doing today i'm gonna be doing some makeup so stick around and we'll get into it all right so can't see my glasses are off. I can't see Jack. But, uh, whatever you do, just start with your regular, usual makeup base, whatever that may be. Foundation, whatever, what have you. Moisturizer, if your skin is just that good and, uh, amazing. But I typically don't use foundation on my face. Uh, because it just, it often just feels like a bit much for me and stuff but um and also i don't know if maybe i need to use powder foundation or what but my face always it always looks real dry and flaky with foundation on so i i just rarely ever use it so but so let me clip out my uh little this little thing i can imagine chosa would if it, if it was if it was like meta and it was and JJK was like a, a TV show I've seen some theories like that that was like oh what if uh JJK J Jujutsu Kaisen was um like a, I think it's because people are their favorite characters and stuff and Delulu is a Salulu so they're like oh maybe there's an alternate universe where the where this is like where Jujutsu Kaisen is like a, a a TV show and all the characters are actors and stuff. But I imagine like Choso would probably, in, in a situation like that, an AU alternate universe like that, he would probably have his little hairs, his little baby hairs <laughs> uh, pinned up out of his face. So um, I'm just putting a bit of moisturizer on because again, I'm not doing foundation because I feel like it's a bit bit much for me and it, it, real f it feels really cakey. I should probably... So find like a, a lighter formula, you know, foundation, but honestly, I don't really know much about it. So I feel like I, that's too much effort, too much work. Um, so next is face. Cause we got to give face. Um, I have this Lancome, um, what is it? Like a contour stick that uh ray gave me um she just had it lying around i think because uh at some point she was doing like uh product reviews i think or something like that um so she she pretty much got it for free but it is quite light for her skin so if you've seen our videos over there on the on our other ch on on our other channel you'll probably have seen um how deeply hued her skin is compared to this color um if i could find any links for any of the products they'll be in the description box but this is um the taunt idol ultra wear contour stick i guess in the color suede so um 
I'm putting this here, just kind of tapping it on because I don't want too much because it, it is quite dark in comparison to my skin tone. Um, oh shit. And it does have like a little fluffy, I don't know if you could see that. Focus so that you can see the brush. It's like super, super dense and super fluffy. So it's kind of perfect for, um, blending this stuff out. Oh shit. I need a, I need a mirror. Oh, I got my mirror here. She's a bit messy, but, uh, yeah. Fingerprints. So, um, I'm just putting it here in the hollow of my cheek and along my jawline because your girl's face is real round and Choso, he's not round. He's got some, some, you know, sharpness to his face. So I'm going to kind of blend this out. I actually, yeah, actually, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit on along the side to like, just to sort of narrow my face a little bit because for the most part my face is going to be it's it's going to be hidden behind my like bangs sort of situation i know that his sort of like baby hairs are much shorter but um seeing as how i'm doing sort of like a eh, feminized version of choso i guess it kind of works just to have this the longer hair pieces in the front um i think that would even be harder to do even with a, like a wig a shorter wig um but also your girl has long hair and uh long curly hair and i don't have straight hair so uh, we gonna make it work so and of course you're gonna do the same thing on the other side just not too much oh i got I, I was a little bit a little bit heavy there a little bit heavy but it's okay because that's what the blending out is for. I'm just sort of dotting it on and then really roughly kind of blending it out because we don't want hard lines. It is, even though it is an anime character, you know, we don't want hard lines in real life because we're not, we don't, we don't look like that in real life. We got, uh, I know you can see everything because this is a double-sided mirror. You can see everything that's on my desk. It's a mess. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, and then we're going to bring this, these, this line underneath the chin because contouring, we're trying to make things disappear, push things back, art concepts. So hopefully you can't, you make sure you blend it out like really, really well though, because, um, on camera you might not notice it being like a hard line but in real life you're gonna notice it for sure so make sure you really blend that out and blend it downwards down my neck because your girl got a double chin and uh yeah we ain't we ain't trying to Yeah, we're not trying to do that, all of that, so. Let me cap this bad boy. Oh shoot, I got I got makeup on my hands now. It's okay though. That's what soap is for, cleanser. Alright, so. We got that part done. Wait, actually no, I have to do my noobs. Because, again, this character does not have you know, softness to his face. So we're gonna, we are going to think. So let me zoom in really quick so that you can get into the face. Close, closer, enhance. Ah, that seems like the sweet spot. Okay. Enhance, enhance, get in close. So you can see here that it's quite like a thick boy. He's, he's girthy. Um, so I'm just going to put a spot here. Just this little boop, little line here and here. Based on the angle of my own eyebrows. Um, 
because I don't want to I don't want to do the whole covering of the eyebrows things here because uh, he does have eyebrows so thank god for that um but then yeah because and I'm doing this because for a lot of these male characters the nose bridge is like really like just whoosh, narrow and for whatever reason I've noticed that when you do uh add some contour here along the on either side of the nose bridge there when you're doing a masculine character or a male character it tends to um you know make it look more masculine for whatever reason I I don't know I don't really know the science behind it but uh it's just yeah at least on my face anyway I I'm pretty sure it's pretty standard on any person's face to uh contour this area here and that automatically makes you look more huh, macho um so let's see what's next what's next what's next eyebrows okay so chelso has uh well not eyebrows under eye bags chelso has very pronounced eye under eye bags um so this contour oh uh, not contour con concealer concealer toss it to the side yeet it yeet it we're yeeting it out to the side uh because he has eye bags and so we don't really need the concealer for real um wait i just yeeted it into the ether hold on okay I'm back so concealer uh chelso has oh shit chelso has very pronounced eye bags so concealer uh you can use it as a base to then make his um eye bags more pronounced uh which we will do with eyeshadow but in my case i already have some pretty pretty gnarly eye bags as you can see if i zoom in yeah it's not doing me any favors um so i'm probably gonna use this as a base for the eyeshadow because his whole like just eyelid situation is just very uh like a neutral purple kind of just 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 very eye bag -y. so i'm gonna use the concealer to uh give myself a base to work with um because for whatever reason purples on my skin i need a base on my skin we're not going straight purple let's be fair to be honest we're not gonna go straight purple but um because yeah nobody's eye bags are like that in real life i mean you might have something wrong if your eye bags are like purple purple like like my background purple yeah anyway so i'm gonna i got this uh ellie girl oh shit oh no i've got concealer all over my desk it's okay i'll just use it but anyway so i have this ellie girl pro conceal concealer in the shade honey warm honey so i'm gonna use it as a base and not too much because I don't want anything running into my eyes because uh, I'm already blind. I don't need to be further blinded by the light. Um, I've got a little mini powder puff situation. So I'm going to blend that shit out. Blend that bad boy out. Blend him out. Because this is a little lighter than my skin tone. so Which I think is the standard or concealer at least a little lighter than my eye bags like a shade lighter than my eye bag so um and we're going the minimalist route you know we're trying to make it look natural uh so i've read that um looking down once you look down well i saw a video on instagram where if you look down whilst you're applying your concealer, it settles into the lines when you try to set. I usually don't set my uh, concealer because uh, it always looks cakey when I um, 
try to set with like a yellow powder. It always looks cakey, but I think that's because I have, I personally have dry skin, so. All right, so I had a base to work with. I'm not, I'm, it's, it's kind of, it feels kind of counterintuitive to conceal your eye bags and then add them on again. They're still there, it's just, I'm trying to make them a different color. So more of a purpley kind of warmth. It's like, it's kind of weird. Because depending on the lighting, Choso's eye bags look purpley, but then sometimes they look kind of reddish. So I'm working with what I got here because he is a fair skin character, obviously. Most of most anime characters are depicted to be Japanese or some other form of Asian, Asiatic uh, person from, a, from another Asian country. So Korean, Chinese, whatever. Um, unless explicitly stated otherwise. Like, for example, I read somewhere that Nanami is supposed to be like 25% Dutch, but you can see from his appearance, he's, he's blonde hair. He's very much like a European kind of appearance to him, look to him. Um, and then the other character, oh, I don't remember her name, but it's the uh, one girl from, uh, the Kyoto uh jujitsu school um the one with the broomstick she's supposed to be part american i believe which i always find funny in in, in mangas how um the standard look for an american character is like the blonde haired blue eyed um aesthetic so it's just really funny to me it's it's just <laughs> anyway it's just really stereotypical but anyway uh, so I'm going in with this, uh, MAC eyeshadow in the shade Devoted to Chili. It's a matte eyeshadow, so, which is perfect for this kind of thing. So I'm just kind of going in, just tapping a little bit. I'm going to close my eyes because I don't want any of this powder getting in my eyes because it always, for whatever reason, it always irritates my eyes. Uh, regardless of what brand it is, it's just the powder. I, I, I guess my eyes are just really sensitive. When it comes to stuff like that but anyway so i'm just gonna pat that on on the on the lower lid and then kind of bring it up around we're trying to go real soft here but and then so this is sort of like a reddish orangey kind of clay color which again works really well for my skin tone personally. Um, I think if you're fairer uh, skin tone wise, it'll show up a lot more. So, and it is quite pigmented because it's it's a more high end brand. So, um, a little bit goes a long way for if you're fairer skinned than me. Um, I'm tr I'm quite yeah. I'm not that dark, but you know. Um, I do tend to tan pretty well <laughs> in the summertime, so, but anyway, uh, so, but what I'm going to do is concentrate it a little bit more on the outside, bringing it up on the island, and I'm using this kind of fluffier brush to sort of make sure that it stays soft because, uh, we don't want any hard lines. I'm not trying to use too much, um, but, but uh, what I am trying to do is keep more of the, um, the more pigmented uh, areas closer to the lash line and then just bringing it up to kind of fade it out. Um, oh yeah, that, that, yeah, see, that works a lot better. So um, because I have hooded eyes, you can kind of see how this sort of bit of skin right here is kind of squishing uh top of my lids here so what i'm going to do is while my eyes are still open so this is this is some advice for the for the hooded eye girlies while my eyes are still open i'm going to with whatever excess is still left on the brush i'm gonna just uh sort of place it a little bit above my 
crease um, to kind of bring it up just a little bit. And that way it looks a little bit more natural, see? So you can, I don't know if you can, cause I don't think I can zoom in anymore. Um, I think this is as far as my camera can zoom in. Okay, there we go. Now you're really in my face. So you can probably see my pores now. Um, but as you can see, like you can see that I've sort of brought that. I'm sorry, it needs to focus more. Focus, thank you. So I've pretty much brought that color up. You can see the difference between the two. I've brought it up closer to in the space between my eyebrow and the crease or line of my eye here. So that it kind of thing. And this is going to be sort of the basis of our uh, eye bags. Because I am going to do a little bit more to add more depth onto the eye. So now moving on to the other eye, I'm just tapping majority of the concentrated uh, color along the lash line and then moving my way up with sort of soft, gentle, uh, circular sort of movements to sort of make keep it soft and keep it blended out as I move up towards the brow line. Um, you don't want to, in my case, I don't want to bring it up too far because I, I have very limited space in between my eyebrow and my crease, so there's not much to work with. I know a lot of other girls have a lot more space, but so but you can you can pretty much finesse it to your um, base, your eye shape, size, lid space, all that stuff. You can you can customize it at will, so to speak. All right, so next step, we're still on the eyelids, so I'm going to go in with a palette. We got the uh, Black Radiance uh, Brilliant Effects Eyeshadow Palette in Tribal Bright. They got two of these little eye palettes. They got the blue one, which I think has a different variety of colors. And then they have this one, which I preferred this one because it has the kind of colors that I would use um, previously. So yeah all right so i'm still going in with that brush that that fluffy brush that i was using earlier and i'm going to go in with a purple color um because there's two in this palette there's two different kinds of two different shades of purple uh one is called poppin so if you see if you look into the palette um on the left hand side the one in the middle it's sort of more of like a bluish purple um which these types of purples tend to look very gray on me so if uh because i have i have a bit of warmth in my skin so that might actually uh work for somebody who has more blues in their skin or whatever it'll be more purple more purple um and then you also have the sort of pinky purple, more of a warm purple down here at the bottom in the next row to that. So uh, the second row from the left at the all the way at the bottom, the third row, third uh, little square is a color called Illuminate. It's sort of like a pinky, more of a reddish purple. So the other one has more blue in it. So and this one has more red so because i have the the sort of brick color on i'm going to go with the color illuminate um it is a bit sparkly uh shimmery sparkly kind of effect to it but i don't think it's going to be too bad because not like a like a straight 100 percent shimmer kind of uh color so I'm gonna go in, actually I need a thinner brush than this. Oops. I think I have something, but I'm, 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 I'm too lazy to get up right now. Um, 
I'm gonna go in with this sort of purpley color. Pat that on just a little bit. Ooh, nope, nope, nope. That was a bad idea. Let me correct this error here. This, I guess, I, I guess it works. Yeah, actually it does. Actually it does. Okay, so just don't put too much on the brush when you're going in with that color because it's it it is very pigmented. These um what they call like drugstore brands are really they are really getting it, okay? They're really getting it in. So, for me this is going to work because so I'm just going to do that tap it on because again Chosa's eye bags are very purpley but we don't want to be too purple you know too too much of that that anime purple thing we're trying to go like a flesh tone reddened kind of kind of deal here so and same thing like what we did before we're starting at the lash line and then instead of blending it all the way up towards the um the eyelid towards the, the eyebrow not eyelid towards the eyebrow so sort of an arcing motion but also swirling not too much just very lightly we're not trying to pull at the skin or trying to take your eye out you know I'm not trying to do all of that that's just doing a bit too much it's doing a bit too much uh I am still going in with the same brush on the bottom lid. I think it would probably be a better idea for you guys to use a smaller brush, but I'm one trying to conserve brushes and I'm also trying to use the fact that I used the that sort of brick color on here. There's still some remaining, so I'm going to use that to my advantage and kind of mesh the two by using the same brush and then also this will help to keep it keep the look pretty soft which is kind of ironic considering the capabilities of this character um but i guess in a way he is kind of a soft character big uh, big brother kind of character um yeah, I'm not going to say much more than that because I don't want to veer into uh, spoiler territory. Alright, so we got sort of the look here. You can possibly darken this up if you want to using a more uh, either like a darker brown, like a darker brownish clay color or whatever. Um, you could do that. That's all up to you. I would, I think I would recommend this one, the, um, the MAC, uh, eyeshadow for someone who's more fair skinned. It would probably look really, really, oh my god, just, yeah, sublime. Anyway, so, we got that part done. Now, we're moving on to the eyeliner. I think I'll do my brows last, because, yeah. So I have some black eyeliner. This is a LA Colors gel eyeliner, which again, LA Colors, just all these like low, what they call low end brand uh, uh, makeup companies are really on it because these are really good. Um, they're really good. They're really good. They last really long. So I'm going to go in to my waterline because I'm going to uh pretty much just make my eye line my my lash line a little bit more heavy uh because choso has this sort of like in typical anime fashion he has very small eyes like just from this he has a very like eh, gaze you know like almost bored looking but yeah it's not even really like siren look or anything like that it's just meh so it's like the top line of his eyes are very straight and then it's just it's kind of giving kakashi a little bit but like not 
white i guess it's just very has a very just meh expression on his face so we're gonna try and achieve that here um so i and i have very almond shaped eyes so my eyes personally are almond shaped so i'm gonna try and work with that all of this stuff so finesse um so i'm going in i don't know if you can see it or not because yeah i'm being very light-handed here because my bottom lashes are not as thick as my top lashes and i do not have any black mascara so i'm just gonna go in really quick and just sort of lightly go into my waterline to kind of thicken up my lash line because you know anime anime boys always have the best lashes they always have the best lashes it's just like why and just boys in general just even in real life they have just gorgeous eyelashes and just like why why have you been blessed this way you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you're you don't, you don't know what you've been blessed with anyway so um i'm gonna because my eyes don't have that straightness to it i'm gonna kind of go in on my top line in this corner a little bit just a little bit try to get as close to lash line as possible personally for me that's what works because uh again hooded eyes um I'm going to kind of bring it out just a little bit and try to keep it as straight as possible. I don't want to do anything too over exaggerated because I'm trying to keep it natural here. Um, Cause I know that's tip the typical uh, style in like cosplay land where it's like to overdraw the, the eye lines and stuff. But I don't really want to do that here. I'm not trying to do too teen too much, you know. You could probably also achieve this with like a um a liquid liner, uh, probably a lot more effectively than what I'm doing. Um, probably something a little bit more long lasting. But I'm using what I have here, so yeah, that's pretty much all it is. And at least with this, I can if I need to, I can kind of blend it out a little bit more or just blend it out in general and work with this sort of my whole eyelid situation that i got going on so i'm gonna pretty much do the same thing on the same on the other side um and just try to make it as even as possible but we know that that's pretty much impossible with eyeliner to get it exactly what you want it to be so um i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'm going a little bit, going very slowly, a little bit at a time. And then just periodically checking through because, um, yeah. Because again, this, this hoodedness here, I wouldn't change it for the world, but I'm trying to work with it and rather work with the, the, the features of my face rather than trying to work and do what everyone else does and stuff like that basically yeah um so i know it's been a while that i have posted a video i've been busy with other things in the past i don't know how long how many years it's been since i've actually done a video for this channel specifically um but it's been a very long time so and I know I don't have many viewers, but we'll see what I can, what, what's going on, what it do. Okay, yeah, that works. I think that works. Does that work? Yeah. So he doesn't even really have, like, that whole, what they, what some people call puppy dog downturned eyes situation. It's just, you know, so... And the reason why I'm doing it like this, where it's like, um, where I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to pull it this skin too much because, uh, the eye lid skin is just very easy to wrinkle, so. And I'm trying not to put too much pigment on at a time. I'm trying to be very soft with it as well. 
can go a little bit more, but I feel like I might ruin it if I do a little bit too much. Wait, where's my... Okay, that is the zoomed in side. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's working. That is, that is working. Let me try to fix this side a little bit more so that they look more even. Now, mind you, I'm not doing it exactly the same on both sides because, again, nobody's face is 100% symmetrical because then it would be leaning very much into that uncanny valley whole sitch and then yeah we don't we don't need that um but anime characters are pretty much perfect so we're trying to we're trying to make the imperfect perfect um let's see is that pretty much it for the eyelids okay so um what i always do when i'm doing these anime characters because um they tend to have like monolids and stuff, um, but sort of going with that sort of flow, I tend to grab a little bit of highlighter. So I have this uh, Wet n Wild uh, highlighting powder. It's sort of a bronzy color. I got it. Let me. You see what the color of the shade is? Uh, is there a Mega Glow loose highlighting powder in what's the what's the color name? What's the color name? Where is it? I don't know. It doesn't say on here what color it is, but it is their like bronze sort of color. But I'm trying to lean it in so you guys could see. Um, hold on, let me let me adjust. So it's this sort of bronze color highlighting powder. Yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit off of, from the lid right i have a clean brush that i just use just for this sort of thing um these are these brushes are also wet and wild they're very they're the like dollar dollar uh brushes so i'm just gonna tap a little bit tap off the excess because i don't want to do too too much and i'm going to at least, again, for me, if you have similar eyes, this will work for you. If not, uh, you could probably omit this step, you know? But I, I just like to do it because I'm extra. So what I'm gonna do is uh, this sort of, just in the middle here on this top part, this, the, the flush on top, my hood, I'm going to put a spot of this highlighter here to bring it out just a little bit, just, just a touch. Um, and I'm going to do the, the same thing on the other side. And that's why I tapped off a lot of the excess uh, highlighter. Because I don't want it to be too too teen too much. Because um, we're doing a male character. Now I do have to go back in after doing that with uh, the eyeshadow. Because uh, it was not enough eyeshadow on there. But because the... This highlighter kind of washed it out a little bit, so I'm going to go back in with that uh, MAC um, eyeshadow. There, just a little bit. And just, just touch it up just a little bit to make sure there's still, the eye bags are still there. Okay. Now doing doing a little one-two examination um i forgot so i'm going back in with this uh my eyeliner i'm going into the inner corners of my eyes because uh enhance you know really enhances the look i'm not on the lash line lower lash line i'm not going to go back in with my uh Thing I can, I, I think I am gonna go just a little bit lightly along the lash line to make my lashes pop, but I'm not going to do, I'm gonna try as much as possible to not go into the waterline because um, it's an anime character. I don't want it to be too, too heavy. Um, So I'm going in just a little, just very lightly 
to make my eyelashes a little bit more pronounced but not too much because I'm not we're not trying to do the full raccoon look um here because I could very well do that but I, that's just a personal preference of mine because when I cosplay I, I prefer I, I really like that more natural look for you know cosplay so what's next eyebrows okay so uh i'm pretty sure choso has very has decently thick eyebrows no yes no no he does not he has he has that typical uh sort of male thing where it's like uh this well anyway his his eyebrows are kind of this they're they're at an angle mine are not they're fairly straight so i'm gonna try and do some little magic here i'm gonna go in with a clear brow and lash mascara this is wet and wild so it's clear all your girl okay um i'm just gonna brush this along the hairs notifications on my phone and to make sure that they're fairly neat but my eyebrows are already pretty neat so but this will probably help give a base to work with and to make sure that things are where they need to be so yeah yeah you know what my eyebrows kind of will kind of work for this angle wise if as long as i brush this upwards so i'm using these upward motions to help give the right angle of the, the brows because we're trying to do au natural i know the anime characters don't have like natural eyebrows a lot of the times um i think for the most part gay did a pretty good job with like making these their their faces look not not giving them these crazy eyebrows this like something out of a kung fu movie you know and that's not to say like that that form is bad it's just you know they do look kind of crazy like friggin heihachi mishima brows like with the <laughs> like crazy ends i wonder how many people have actually like achieved that i gotta look up some heihachi mishima um cosplays because that would probably be freaking hilarious to have like those freaking just like I don't know the, the three strand brow thing going on it must be crazy because they basically like come off of his face which is so funny to me while that's drying i'm going to do my lips um i do not believe in split so i'm gonna find ah my lip balm it fell on the floor okay so i don't believe in split so we're going in with just a regular regular lip balm there we go aqua four uh pro possibly not the best um the best uh uh lip balm in the world but it does the job so i don't know why on camera it looks like i have like something in my eye and i'm like what 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 what's going on um all right, so I got some lip balm on. Um, I'm gonna go in with some brown lip liner from Elf. What color is this? It is their Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner. What's the color? Oh shit. Uh, I can't read that. Ooh, it's tiny. Light brown. Light brown. That works for me. So, because anime characters basically don't have lips, which is funny, but. Um, interestingly enough, uh, Gege, when he draws his characters, like, at least when I noticed that like, with, with Gojo, for example, he has, like, a whole, like, gradient lip thing going on, kind of, but I guess that's pretty typical for a character that's kind of, like, a pretty boy, you know? But this is pretty much the color of my lips, but just without any sort of pinkness to it so this could this works pretty well so 
I'm gonna use this for my brows, make it more pronounced and stuff. I am probably going to have con to conceal some of it, but I'm just gonna go in with some powder and, and, and finesse the rest of the way. So I have this hard candy brow powder trio situation. It has like a gel thing and then two different shades of um, brow powder. Um, it doesn't say what the shade is, but it's just, it's just brow powder pretty much. It's all in one. Um, so I'm going to use, go in with the darkest shade, which is the, the one on the far right. Uh, I'm going to dip my brush into the powder, tap off the excess. Then I'm going to go in at an angle in the middle of my brows and, uh, draw at a not even quite a 45 degree angle it's just going along with the line of my brows because my my eyebrows are kind of in a, at a similar angle to Choso so um, I'm just gonna make that that line more pronounced and then also at the same time bring my eyebrows closer to the nose bridge because we're doing a masculine sort of thing here and then i'm going to use whatever is left on the brush to kind of fade in my brows more towards the brow line so i'm holding it vertically and then just going along the lines of my eyebrows bring it in closer to where i essentially to where i put that contour earlier that line of contour along my brows, those were sort of at a what? About, those were sort of at a four degree, five degree angle um, earlier when I did that. So, um, and I'm just gonna brush it through, and I'm gonna go in on either side. I'm gonna just darken up my brows just a little bit because my brows are already dark, but I'm just gonna. So I gotta do that a little bit more. Um, so my eyebrows are yeah, with two C's. And so now I'm going to go in with the spoolie to kind of adjust some things a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna do some editing. Yeah, you because know, the whole point of that brow gel is just to keep the hairs down. So not doing the whole gangsta wing situation. So now I'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer. What you could probably do is go in with like a pale colored, uh, like a brow highlight probably. Well, at least in my case, I could probably do that. I could get away with that, I think. Um. I'm going actually, I think rather than concealer, I'm going to go in with this liquid eyeshadow and see how that works. Um, it's a L'Oreal Infallible Paint Eyeshadow in Nude Fishnet. Nude Fishnet. What is with the names of these like makeup products? It's kind of crazy. But anyway, and I'm going to just sort of tap it on my brow, underneath my brow to kind of Fade it out. I'm gonna take a foundation blending brush situation and just kind of pat it on and to try and sort of fade out those lines of my brow hairs because I don't want to fully um, like just erase the brows completely you probably could get away with like just plucking the ends of your brow line but i don't want to do all of that I, I i like my thick brows i have come to love them over the years so i'm going in with my finger now to kind of blend it out so that it's not too harsh i think i can get away with that i think i think yeah i think i can get away with it because you can, with there's a lot of things you can kind of get away with with cosplay. Um, it doesn't have to be a hundred percent accurate, um, which is which is 
the whole point of it of the, the whole cosplay thing is to have fun so if you're not having fun then what's the point in general even in general like any sort of activity that you're doing what's the point in doing it if it's not if you aren't getting some level of enjoyment out of it, you know? Especially with something like cosplay, which is just like a hobby. You know, you don't have- to, nobody's putting a gun to your head to cosplay. You know, unless that's like something that you do for a living, you know? But even then, you're, you're doing it as a choice because there's, there's always other options, you know? But, yeah. I'm just slowly- so I'm just slowly working it into further into the end of my brows, adding a bit more, patting it down, all that stuff. It's probably going to look crazy when I'm done, but like crazy in a bad way and not crazy in a good way, I feel like, but we'll see. Because I might have to go back in and do a little bit more as far as uh, the eye shadow situation. So, again, my eyebrows are very thick and I am unwilling to pluck them for a cosplay. Just for a cosplay. Uh, no ma'am. <laughs> not for me. It is not for me. So, I guess I'm just pretty much just going back and forth adding more product, patting it out, um, and yeah. I guess this could work. Because this one, not that one, this one looks fine. It's the other one that's kind of messing with me a little bit now. And yeah, it is, it is very much like screwing with me right now. So, I think I probably was a little too heavy handed earlier with this, but. What I probably should do in the future is just like run spoolie through. Wait, is it this one? Or is it this one? This one looks fine though. Why am I going in more with this? It's this one that looks fine. It's the other one. It's just like doing something crazy. Okay. Which is funny because that one had that my other eyebrow has a lot more hairs at the end. This is kind of like, okay, uh, what are you doing? What's going on here? I look like, a, like I'm doing drag makeup right now. Which is kind of hilarious to me. A little too light, but I could probably go back in with my concealer. Yeah. I think what the issue is is up top here. It's just not. Yeah. And... Yeah, that works. I think that works. That works. I think that works for him. Uh, old Japanese paintings. Let me pick up my, my brush. Ooh. How a lot of some of the paintings you'd see women depicted with like almost no eyebrow. It's just a round thing. It's kind of doing that but like it's almost like he's frowning all the time. So I'm gonna go back in with my eyebrow powder and just sort of Bring this up just a little bit. Just not too dark, I don't think. We're not trying to do the block brow situation. We're not we're not out here trying to look like an angry bird, okay? Um I'm gonna have to blend this out though. Remember, twin sisters, not twins. Sisters, not twins. Blending it out with that same um, brush that I used with the eyeshadow. So, and 
and I'm just blending in a circular sort of motion. Um, it's now it's starting to give like <laughs> martial arts movie eyebrows, <laughs> which I'm, I'm not. It's not too bad, I don't think. Um, I think I can do a little bit more with the uh, eye bags, but I think it's fine like this. So. Let me zoom out for this. See, am I in focus? Yeah, I'm in focus. So now I'm going to unclip my hair. My little bang, bangy bangs. And uh, brush it through. Alright, so I've unclipped my hair. I'm going to now brush it through just a little bit. Um, give it some volume and stuff. And a sort of just elevated anime look. Um, but curly because my hair is curly and we're just... It's just a look. It's not like a legit like, oh yeah, this is definitely cosplay because you know, normally you would use a wig for something like this. Granted, I'm sure you can use your own hair and just straighten it out. Um, and so this is pretty much the finished look, but uh, I'm missing one key detail. He has this black line across his nose. Um, so I'm gonna go in with eyeliner, the same eyeliner from before. You could probably use like a liquid uh, or gel eyeliner for this because it might, the application is gonna be a lot smoother. Actually, let me do that. I'll do that instead. I'm going to use some liquid, some cream to liquid, I think it's called eyeliner. It's uh, from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. So this is the duo wet to dry sort of liner so activate oh that's what it is water activated liner so i'm gonna activate it with water then i'm going to go over my nose with it which i feel like it might be a little you know much to do so this will give you that crisp line that you want And it doesn't go all the way across his face. It's just like just in the middle. Like I would say right. It would fall. Right along the line where your where your iris is when it when it, when you look forward. I know my head's tilted a little bit, but we're trying to make this as symmetrical as possible. But uh, if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. You know, not everything will be perfect. So I'm gonna just widen that just a touch and oh, I'm sorry and connect both lines I'm gonna try and be as precise as possible here and then I'm gonna fill it in I recommend the angled brush for this like what I used for my eyebrows earlier because then you can just, when you're filling it in, you can just use the flat side of the brush and then just fill in the lines. The only reason why I'm like drawing the line first before filling it in is because I really want that crisp, super crisp line. If we see in his character design show. I really wonder if it's like a tattoo or if it's just a marking from like him being, you know, who he is. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. No worries.
Okay, this can go out just a little bit more, I think. I think on the left side I did a little bit too much. On um, too high. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm I resign myself to that. I know that it's not gonna be perfect, but uh Yeah. Alright, so that is that is the finished look. So um it's nice chatting with you guys. I will see you in the next video. If you would like to me to do a video on how I did my hair let me know in the comments section um if you want more content you make sure you uh hop over to the unscripted real artist channel we do all things pop culture music uh music videos anime movies tv shows we do all that stuff um Link to that will be in the description. Also make sure to follow your girl on her social medias, which will be in linked in the description box down below. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.